show you the side. See how it's like nice and crisp? And then when you get over here, it's all loose. But it's not going to happen when I get to my stretched area. That's how you know you're doing good if you've got that going on. All right, now we're down to the corners, and this is the tough part. Um, <clears throat> it, as far as art rules go, um, you're going to have a lip for your corners, or you, you can do lipless, um, which is pretty difficult. Um, I won't show you how to do that here, and that's kind of a trade secret. But you're going to have this little thing going on. So whichever orientation, if this is going to be a horizontal painting, you want to have the lips facing one side. So if it's going to go like this, you want them lipping over this way. Same thing on this side, like that. If you want it, ver if you want it um, vertical, then you're going to go vertical. You know, whichever whichever sides are facing up and down, that's where your you know lips are gonna go. You don't want them on the side, and you definitely don't want like one right what here. I'm noticing right here, right it's a little ruffle in where I've stretched. So that's that's loose, and that's not good. Um, so what I'm gonna do, you know, if you have good canvas, they're gonna just gonna pull right out. You know, just yank these out. Uh, I don't want to lose those. That one's going to be a little bit tough. We've got the hammer. It's going to put it up underneath. There you go. Just like a staple remover that you would use in school. Pretty much. So we've got this little ruffle going on. So I want to make sure that's good and gone. So this is showing you the versatility of, you know, of stretching. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and if you really have to, if you want to make sure that this is going to stay nice and straight, <clears throat> this isn't always recommended, or ever really, but go ahead and pull this down as much as you can. Get it nice and tight. Remember, don't do it. Don't, don't go too crazy. You could just poke a hole right here. So there's that, and then what I'm going to do... So I'm going to put a temporary staple right here. I'm going to have it going this way to make sure I'm holding it nice and good. There's that. So with this staple here, since you're not going to go all the way to the corner, you can go ahead and just redo this. It's being particularly stingy. I can see, see it still trying to ruffle up. So what I just did right there is I pulled this way and forced it over this way a little bit. And so it's gone now. So we're going to go ahead and staple. That's good. Let it loose. Looking pretty good. Um, there's just a little bit. That's just where the seam is, I guess. Where they, you know, it's not the, the perfect, most perfect canvas but it should stretch out over a little bit because I'm stretching it really tight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put another one in. Alright, so went ahead and did that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. There we go. Just pops out. Some people use tacks. I like to use staples. If you want to learn how to use tacks, you have to watch another video. Alright, so now we're getting to the corners. Um, what I'm wanting to do with this, it's a good vertical, but it's also a pretty good horizontal. I think I'm going to go horizontal with this one. So, since it's horizontal, we're going to have the lips going like this. So, you're going to think, you know, this is all loose right here. What are you going to do with that? Well, it's going to work out when you, when you put the when you just do the, do the corners. So <clears throat> since I'm going horizontal and I want I want it to be coming around this side, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side first. I mean, there's nothing to say that you can't do it the other way. That's what I prefer, and works out the best usually. <clears throat> so I'm pulling it nice and tight. Got it in the corner. You know, starting to tighten up on this side. 
you know, you're, when, you're, when we do this side, it'll finish it off. So, got this up. I'm, I'm pulling this way, this direction, not just this way, because because we got a, a decent amount of fabric here. and tight, looking pretty decent. Um, so what we're going to do now is so we're going to fold right here. I mean, best best scenario is it's straight across. This isn't coming into play. At all. So we've got that. <clears throat> and then we're going to just hold it with your thumb right there and just come pull over I mean I mean if you if you have to you can double it up another thing you can do is once you get this right here put a staple in it's gonna hold it make it a lot easier for you it's it, really the placement of that's pretty important but um, you want to get pretty far over. You don't want to get too far over and you don't want to be too far this way. So I've got about a quarter inch from the edge. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it out of 45. You know, you've got this 45 that you're going to be able to, you know, you, you can see it pretty much. And you know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull it tight and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it tight this way. And you want to make sure it's nice and flush. You don't so want to what we have going on here. So you got this fold going this way. About a 45 degree angle. And then I'm pulling it around right here. And this puts the fold on the inside. So it's, it's, it's pretty seamless. There's going to be a little bit of a bump right here. And then you're going to have just that one seam and everything's coming together pretty good so then I'm going to pull back as much as I can I want to get it tight and ta-da let's take a look pretty tight I mean, it looks pretty much straight all the way across. Then I'll just do the other corners. So, I mean, it's kind of magic. The corners are, they just kind of fall into place. They're just, I mean, if, you, if you're doing them right, they're just going to tighten up. You don't have to, like, it's, it, you don't have to, like, keep running on all the way to the edge. It, it'll just do that. Corners. You really should not on all the way to the edge. <clears throat> so, this will go on the inside. I'll flip it over. And that's, that's, that's looking pretty good. You know, it's really smooth all that sort of stuff. Um, there's a couple of spots that are just like slightly looser than the others, but that's going to work out um, when you put the gesso on. Because the gesso is wet and so you're going to put it on and as it's drying it's just going to tighten everything back up. You know, just, just like if you ever make leather or anything, that sort of process. Um, <clears throat> If you really wanted to get back in there and fix, like if there's like a loose spot right here, you can go back in here and just pop a couple of these out and then re-stretch that one spot. But you don't want to overstretch it. You know, it's the consistency of the stretch. You don't want to overstretch more than what these are doing because then, then that's just going to leave soft spots on them. Um, if, 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 you, if you really don't have a really great feel for it, I wouldn't recommend trying to do that until you do. All right. Um, so yeah, we got it. Uh, the edges or the corners are looking pretty good. Almost can't see them. That's pretty nice. And when you when you're a painter like like me. Um,